Why the ISIL PR campaign is yielding results. Germany's security agency says the jihadists in Europe are euphoric over Islamic State's military success. And a recent study concluded that there are now 42 million ISIL supporters in the Arab world. Well, let's discuss that alarming figure with the man who calculated it, security analyst Ryan Morrow, who joins us live now here on RT International. Thank you very much uh, for your time. Thank you for joining us. How then do you account for ISIL's uh, widespread support? It really comes down to success breeds success. Um, a group like this may be unpopular at one point, but then grow immensely when they start succeeding because it gets people excited and then they can argue, well, if you disagree with us, you disagree with Allah because obviously Allah is blessing us. Look at the success we're having. Uh, but to be fair, in the analysis that we did at the Clarion Project, uh, only about 5-6% of Arabs fully support ISIS and between 11 and 12% will say that they support ISIS um, to a certain degree. Um, so the numbers you come out to are about a maximum of 43 million people who support ISIS at least somewhat, but that's still a minority of the Arab world. Um, how has the group then, which has essentially a medieval mindset, become so media savvy? Because it seems they're combining sort of anachronistic methods of control and power with 21st century ones. Well, it's because they're very intellectual in how they present their ideology. They like to debate. Before their accounts were being shut down left and right, it was easy to get in contact with them, and they would explain their ideology and debate it from an Islamic point of view. And they bridge that gap between medieval ideas and Western technology, um, sense of humor, um, and even Western pop culture at some, in some cases. Uh, so it's a different presentation than what you get from al-Qaeda. We've seen reports in the, uh, the last 24 hours or so that the uh, so-called moderate Syrian rebels are imitating ISIL's uh, executions, uh, taking the lives of some Islamic State um, soldiers. Is the region here spiraling into barbarism, do you think? Oh, definitely, because if you're someone that's somewhat fanatical and you're looking at the success different groups are saying, the lesson you're going to take away is that what ISIS does obviously works. And that may mean that's what God approves of. And so I'm not surprised at all to see other groups copying their tactics. And as for the so-called moderates that are copying their tactics, they were never moderate to begin with. The group that's copying them is also Islamist in nature. What about the plans that we've just mentioned to try and tackle them online? Is this the way forward? I can be persuaded either way. I'm very conflicted about this because on the one hand, I'd love to make it impossible for them to distribute their communications online. But then on the other hand, if we fail to do that and they're still able to distribute it, what we've lost is the ability to map out their networks on social media by seeing who's talking to who. OK, our security analyst, uh, Professor Ryan Morrow, thank you very much for joining us here on RT International. Thank you.